so how, how do plant foods uh, uh, specifically uh, reduce inflammation? Great question. I'd say there are probably three or four mechanisms. Some we don't even fully understand, but let's go with the science, as I said. Let's start with a simple one. Uh, probably the most powerful, uh, if you will, or basic, I should say, molecule of inflammation is something called prostaglandins. Prostaglandins are molecules that are, are the most basic form of inflammation in the body, whether it be from osteoarthritis or whether it be from a woman having her premenstrual cramps and then her period. Prostaglandins are the molecules that make one experience pain. Now, prostaglandins are a molecule that is formed from a parent molecule called arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid is converted to prostaglandins by an enzyme called COX, COX-1, COX-2. And these enzymes are actually inhibited by anti-inflammatories, ibuprofen, Motrin, Aleve, naproxen, Vimovo. Those drugs inhibit this conversion. But what's fascinating, let's say the basic inflammation concept here, is that arachidonic acid is largely derived from meat and dairy. So you remove those foods that have arachidonic acid out of your diet, you have less parent molecule to form your prostaglandins, and you need fewer pain medicines. So they're at the most basic molecule form. Uh, we strip out some of the inflammation. Number two, studies out of Johns Hopkins show that plant-based foods cause blood vessels to dilate and open up more. This allows more blood with oxygen and nutrients to rush into areas of injury to thereby facilitate healing. On the opposite side of that spectrum, the same studies show that you can reduce blood flow through the brachial artery by half for up to four hours by eating a single high fat, high cholesterol meal. So you can inhibit blood flow to areas of the body that need it. So put this into perspective. The sprinter goes out and sprints. They need good blood flow to their muscles and their legs so they can function. Boom, 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 again and again. Well, if they have just inhibited blood flow to their body by eating a high-fat, high-cholesterol-laden meal, they're not going to get nearly as good a performance. And that's what happens. So that's where those studies, for example, on the pomegranate juice, right, the tart cherry juice, the blueberries, the greens, et cetera, they dilate the blood vessels. They enhance blood flow to the tissues so the body gets more of the oxygen and the nutrients delivered to the tissues. I mean, imagine a highway. If it's backed up, you cannot get your merchandise, your produce, whatever, down the road, right, to where it's needed. Well, you want that highway to be wide open. And that is exactly what plant-based nutrition does for people. Then at the cellular level, it appears that oxidation associated with energy production, with mitochondria, which are little energy producers of a cell, is significantly altered by plant-based nutrition versus flesh or animal foods and you know, processed foods and all the rest. So uh, we know that the body functions more superiorly, you know, more efficiently, as well as I just mentioned, in more improved blood flow to the tissues and less prostaglandin formation. There are so many other ways that are being discovered year after year, but these are some of the basic models out there.